Hey, this is Sky. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So let's talk about our thoughts. Do you ever think thoughts that you feel like brings you backwards? You can trigger yourself. You can just be sitting in a room all by yourself and through the thoughts that you think, you can go down into a real dark place. You can bring up all kinds of negative emotions. What we focus on grows. So if you focus on positivity, this is why people recommend to stay positive and it can be annoying, especially if you're a particularly negative person like I've been, to have someone say, well, just be positive. And you're like, well, fuck you. It's a good idea because the more that you practice being positive, the better at it you get. The more that your mind gets oriented towards positivity, if you're, especially if you are looking through a filter of negativity, of darkness, where everything is kind of shitty. That sucks. You know, people get like that. I've been like that. That's an inner sense of dissatisfaction that gets projected outwardly and kind of clouds everything that you see. And it's important to be able to shatter that. And one of the ways that you do that, obviously, is through positive steps in your life. And another way that you can do that in the beginning stages is to just start thinking more positively and to change your thought process. I had a guy uh, that I was talking to today was telling me about how sometimes his thoughts go to a dark place and he doesn't really feel like it's serving him. He was talking about the various areas that he thinks about. Some disturbing shit, actually. And, you know, and I told him, look, I've gone through this. I know what it's like to sit and think about violent fantasies, about taking revenge on your enemies. I know what it's like to sit there and just think about punching the guy at the bank in front of you in line, just fucking, just for no reason. I, I know what it's like to think about real crazy shit like that. And, you know, obviously there's a line between thinking about stuff like that Next time you're at the grocery store thinking about shooting the place up, there's a, there's a line of thinking about these types of fantasies and then taking action. And if you find yourself not being able to control it, like you think that you're worried about it, you're going to take action, then that's real serious business. But I don't allow those types of negative fantasies to play out. Arguments, that's another one. People play out arguments in their heads. Past arguments, future arguments. They'll, run, they'll play both parts and sit there and like it's a drama and just replay it in their head. Thinking about different things they could have said, should have said, would have said. Going over meticulously everything in their head about a scenario or fantasizing about a potential confrontation that might happen and looking at it from different angles and thinking that that's somehow productive. You're focusing on negativity when you're focusing on the argument, on what you're going to say and what they're going to say and what the fight looks like. You're planning a fight is all you're doing. You're just planning a battle. Think about solutions. That's a lot more humble. What you're willing to give, what you're willing to forgive. You know, this is how we come up with solutions. Think about more positive stuff. And the way that I do this is when I notice that I'm thinking thoughts that make me feel weak, thinking thoughts that make me feel depressed, that make me feel inadequate, thinking thoughts that make me feel like a loser, thinking thoughts that make me feel demented, angry, vengeful, thinking thoughts that make me feel violent. When I'm going into any of that world of negativity, I immediately stop it right on the spot. No more. I'm not thinking about that. I stop it. And there's affirmations that you can use to uh, kind of overpower those voices in your head, that those fantasies that might play out in your head, these negative fantasies. I'm focusing on negativity all day in various ways. All it's going to do is just bring you backwards. It's going to be hard for you to see clearly and make proper decisions and play this game right. So you want to be able to be in a good mindset as you're navigating. And this is how we do it. What I tell myself 
in order to block out all that negativity that, that sometimes starts to run like a record player over and over and over again. You're not good enough. I hate that guy. Whatever it may be, I start telling myself positive affirmations. The one that I use, you can use it too. You can make up one for yourself. I made this one up many years ago and I tell myself, I've talked about it before, but it's really kind of my magic trick when it talks, when in, in reference to taking control of your self-talk. So I tell myself, I release all thoughts to the universe with loving kindness as they arise. I release all thoughts to the universe with loving kindness as they arise. All thoughts. So I imagine, I physically imagine all my thoughts, like in, like in little bubbles, like you're blowing bubbles. And all thoughts, whether it's about, you know, something that happened at work, on the drive home, argument with the old lady, something with family, people I just generally don't vibe with, or whatever I'm focusing on, those negative fantasies about fucking that guy up who owes me $500, the uh, inadequacies that I'm thinking about of, you know, body issues, self-worth issues, all kinds of inadequacies that we all go through that I know I have. I release all thought. Any thought that comes in my head, I release it. In, I imagine it being one of those little bubbles and it just floats out of my head into the universe and just pops and goes away. And it, it makes it so, once I've gotten into a mindset of imagining these thoughts floating out of my head in this simple trick and also saying the affirmation over to myself over and over, I say it in my head, I become less focused on the negativity that I was trapped in. Sometimes we can get trapped in it. We feel like we just can't stop thinking about something. It's torturing us, eating us up inside. We can't stop thinking about it. This is how you stop. And then I use that opportunity to implant something, to replace that negativity with positivity, to change direction. I'm literally changing the focus of how my, uh, the circuitry, the neurological electric circuitry inside your brain because it's like a computer and it's firing and you have a negative area and a positive area so you're literally changing the electronics of your brain of how your brain is firing and now it's going to start firing into something positive because you're going to direct it you want to be in control of your brain in control of your thoughts you're the master of this ship you're the captain And it's important to be able to get to a positive state of mind because that helps us to navigate. That's where we're leaders. That's where we can gain ground. That's when we're moving forward. That's when we're at our most powerful. Try this when you're exercising. It's a scientific fact that you're more, more powerful, you're stronger when you're positive as opposed to negative. I used to think that negativity was what built power. And I would focus so much on negativity, particularly on, particularly on anger and aggression. Because I felt powerful, this false sense, this rush, this adrenaline. But that's not true power. Try this, you can try it, you can prove it to yourself. I know people feel like they're real badasses when they get mad. Oh, fuck somebody up. You know, they feel like they're King Kong you're not. You're at your weakest. You're weakening yourself. Try it. You can go out and exercise. Pump it next time you're on the uh, weight bench. Throw on a nice good amount of weight. Go, go up to your what, what, what you consider to be heavy. And think as you're pushing that weight. Keep good form. Keep perfect form. And think to yourself on that first set. Negative thoughts. See how many you bust off. See how easy it is to get to 10 or 12 or 20, whatever you go to. See how quickly failure comes up. 
take you a little rest, get yourself a little drink of water. Try it again on your second set. This time, think about positivity. Instead of thinking, I can't do it, think I can do it. Think positive thoughts on the second time. Think, think about love. Think about acceptance. Think about forgiveness. Think about positive stuff. Think about something beautiful, a mountainside. Think about something in your head that's positive, that inspires you. You'll get to your, your failure point. You'll realize that you would have done a lot more. You can lift more. You're stronger when you're positive than when you're negative. We always want to be in a place of strength. We're navigating from a place of strength. And when we notice that we're taking steps backwards on our path towards weakness, we catch ourselves. We catch that shit right away. I mean, that's the difference in my life between now and the way it used to be. I used to not be able to catch myself and I would make little strides forward, show little spurts of greatness. I'd be pretty proud of myself. Wow, I did that. And then bam, I'd start sliding backwards like an icy hill. So you gotta stay on top of shit. You gotta be the captain of your own ship your mind is a, is, is a great servant and a terrible master. You have to be its master. Change your outlook. Stop focusing on negativity. Force yourself to focus on positivity. Use the affirmation that I gave you in this video. Thanks for watching.